hello and welcome. Stage 1-1 one -one of this Let's Play of Donkey Kong. I am your host, Betrimane, and here we'll be tackling the first half of the big city. This is where things start getting unfamiliar. As you can see, not quite the same structure as the old Donkey Kong levels. Still ladders, still hammers. Some unusual enemies. These guys, I think they're kind of like rabbits, or something like that. Just do a handstand to actually get that. Ah, you can't pick up a hammer and a handstand to jump. Now you can see the uh, hat, parasol, and purse have made their reappearance. And you will find one of each in every level. Now, by getting all three bonus items, you get to do a bonus reel spin. Here, basically a slot machine, as you can see, you've got all the various combinations. The Donkey Kong Mario hat combination, I don't think I've ever got. Mario faces are like your cherries, they're basically just a giveaway kind of thing. 1-2. Now, you've pressed the B button to also pick up objects, which is the same button as throwing hammers, and most enemies can only be destroyed by actually flinging things into them or doing a hammer. Now this is the gymnast bar we saw in the preview before. It allows you to make some fairly significant jumps. Wait for these... these guys are nice. Oh, hello. Get out of the way. I don't think they actually... Some, some of these enemies actually don't do any harm. I'm pretty sure that um, these ones just push you around. Now you can throw the key back with the B button, or if you hold it up, you can throw it up, and then you find the way to pick it up again. Now the thing with keys that we haven't covered yet is that if you leave it alone for about 10 seconds, it will disappear and head back to the spot where it was first found. Now here's the other option for the bonuses. This one's easier because you always get at least one life. Sometimes that's all you get. As you can see, we'll probably end up with quite a number of lives, and as you can probably see from the intro, I have another file where I have got, indeed, 99 lives. Take out that other flame, and that should do. I'm not necessarily aiming to get all three of the, uh, um, Pauline's items. But, uh, whoop, drop down from that. No. Oh. Obviously little weird pulses of electricity that carry along the uh, monkey bars. Okay, I somehow managed to backflip my way up there. That works out alright. I think that's actually a gap, like it's a one square wide bottomless pit. So now this time, we'll wait for the poles to go past. Just chillin'. There we go. God, that makes me dizzy just thinking about it. Normally you're like, well, hang on, I've got a ladder to carry me up, but that's... We have to time it right. There are two different types of handstand jump. If you do the handstand, you wait a second and jump, you do a kind of a high jump, but if you do a handstand and then jump as soon as you land from going into the handstand, you do an even higher jump and can actually do a double jump following from it. Another life, just like that. Alright. Every fourth stage is a Donkey Kong stage, reminiscent of the old style of... Oh! And that's why you jump when Donkey Kong jumps. Reminiscent of what the old game was like, where they were all stages where you sort of have to climb up to where Donkey Kong is. Ah! Come on! Come on! Multitasking, talking and playing. Doesn't go so well. Oh, there we go. Yeah, 
it's akin to the first three stages of the original game where you have to basically get to Pauline just to get him to bugger off again. Oh, that was good timing. There we go. The blinking just means I've got a new record for the timestamp. And now, what are we about to learn for the next four stages? Because these are basically going to be instruction stages. Yep. Bridge building. Soon, we will discover item items? Wall panels, I guess, that let you create a bridge almost wherever you want. But that is for another episode. Yes, please. And there we go. Tally-ho.